ever since I started collecting Funko Pops, Ad Icons has been one of my favorite sets to collect. If you guys don't know, Ad Icons are basically these mascots or characters that brands have made to represent their company, whether it's a food product or a restaurant chain or anything in between. I'm MD Shady and today we are going to do my top 10 favorite Ad Icons in my collection. So let's check it out. So coming in at number 10 on this list, I have number 44 in the Ad Icons lineup and that is the Kool-Aid Man. The Kool-Aid Man, of course, does have have that nostalgic feel. I don't really think it matters how old you are. You probably know who the Kool-Aid man is. He's been around for so long. And this pop is so interesting because it's so unlike any other pops that we see where you have the basic design of a pop head. But with this one, oh, I love that too. The bricks breaking on the back where he's smashing through the wall saying, oh yeah. So yeah, this is great. Like I said, it is a lot different. He is, of course, a jug of juice after all. So I think Funko did a really good job on this. I love the facial expression. I mean, that is basically the whole thing of Kool-Aid Man. So this is a great pop. I would have liked to see other versions of the Kool-Aid Man with, let's say, different colors because, of course, it doesn't just come in red. Coming in at number nine, the Hamburger Robble Robble. This is awesome. This pop has so much detail with the suit itself. He also has his little like buck teeth. His hair looks great. The hat and of course his mask as well. And the box for these pops are pretty cool too. You have that yellow and red look which of course is what McDonald's is known for. And then you have like the design of like a sesame seed bun like the Big Mac has which is cool. And there's the rest of the pops in the set of course. Ronald McDonald, Grimace, Hamburger himself, Mayor McCheese, Officer Big Mac, and then they even throw in some of the fry kids there, which is really cool. So yeah, I love McDonald's. I feel like it is one of that like most nostalgic things is the characters from McDonald's, which I would love to see McDonald's bring back, but at least we do get them in Funko Pop form. And this isn't even the only hamburger there is. There is a newer one too, where he has his cape out, but this original one is really awesome. I love the hamburger. He's probably my favorite character from all of McDonald's. And then the next pop coming in at number eight is the Funko Shop exclusive Boo Berry. If it wants to focus, there we go. So this is not the OG one. I actually like this newer set of the um, General Mills monsters a lot better. I like the spoon and the cereal rather than the hands out in like the monster pose. And I, I don't know, I just, I feel like these ones are a lot better and especially these ones are a lot more affordable. So that's really great. There's the rest of the pops there with Count Chocula and Frankenberry. I feel like Boo Berry is the one that I kind of went to the most as a child and I would like Boo Berry more than Count Chocula or Frankenberry, though all three are great cereals. I knew I had to go with my boy Boo Berry. He's awesome. And I would like to get those OG ones just to add to my Ad Icon set, but like I said, I think that this one is way better than the original. Coming in at seven on the list, number 11 in the Ad Icons lineup. This is the Funko Shop exclusive Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms, of course. This one's great. Look at him there. He looks so cool. And he does have that thing going on as well where he's got the cereal and a spoon. There's the side of the box, which I think looks awesome, where you actually get to see the cereal itself with the marshmallows. I feel like Lucky Charms is probably my favorite cereal. Uh, just the longevity of it. You can't really get sick of it. It has a nice mild flavor and then you get those marshmallows which add to it which is great and the back of the box of course looks really cool you get the red which is the main uh color on boxes of lucky charms the rainbow you have to add that in there's a shot of the cereal in the bowl and then there is some other characters uh which is interesting because there it's not really like a wave of pops they don't really do ad icon waves realistically but there you do have uh sunny the cuckoo as well as is that yeah that's tricks the rabbit i couldn't tell from the picture, but those are awesome pops as well. I don't actually have those in my collection, so still on the lookout for those two pops, but I knew I had to get Lucky in my collection at some point, and yeah, he's ranking at number seven of all-time favorite ad icons in my collection. Coming in at number six, we got number 37 in the ad icons collection. This is also a Funko Shop exclusive with that like Christmas themed sticker there. And it's the Pillsbury Doughboy. This is just a simple pop that is so amazing. Again, what a classic look that he has. And he looks hilarious with that big smile and robust belly, if you can kind of see it there. 
and the package I think is amazing as well. They keep it simple and that's exactly how it should be. I think it represents the Pillsbury Company perfectly. And then when you go to the back, you do have the shot of the Pillsbury Doughboy himself. And of course, he's doing the exact same kind of classic pose for him, which is just awesome. The eyes are pretty big on this pop. I think it looks great. You got the Pillsbury logo on the hat and he's mostly one color. So there's not like a ton of detail or coloring that needs to go into this pop, but I think that that is a good thing. They kept it short and simple and it paid off. Of course, there are different Pillsbury pops. Uh, there's the one where he has like the four leaf clover cookie and I believe there's one other one if I'm not mistaken, but I like the original design of Pillsbury Doughboy. You just keep it simple. You don't really need to give him anything and this pop just turns out great. Now we're making it to the halfway point. So coming in at number five, 100 186 in the at icon collection and it is the what is it they call it the retro Chuck E. Cheese awesome I was so so excited when this pop got announced look at that retro uh, Chuck E. Cheese logo I believe that's like their second logo that they did in the late 90s and early 2000s then you got the side of the box there with Chuck E. and then the back of the box of course where he's got like the skateboard or like biker outfit on and he's handing the tokens just so nostalgic for me and the pop itself looks great I mean that's Chuck E. Cheese right there is he holding stuff yeah he just has the one token but there is even if you can pick that up on the camera it actually does have the details on it like it would be a token that you would get from Chuck E. Cheese. So this pop is great. I think it'd be silly if they don't actually have these in Chuck E. Cheese's where you can win these as prizes. I think that they should probably do that. And if they're not doing that, they need to get on it because why would you not want to win a Funko Pop of retro Chuck E. Cheese while you're at a Chuck E. Cheese's? Coming in at number four on my list, we have number 73 in the Ad Icons lineup. This is the Funko Shop exclusive flocked Energizer Bunny. I do have the common as well, but I don't display it because of how great this is. I mean, it's the Energizer Bunny and the flocking on it looks so good. I mean, this is just such a great pop. There's so much detail with it with the fur design, but then also given the flock to really point out that fur design. Uh, it's just the molding on this is unreal. You got, of course, his drum. He's wearing the sandals. He has the battery attached to the side of his leg, which is so cool. And of course, he's got his uh, drumsticks, I suppose. There's the side of the box. There's not really a ton going on with this, but what can you really do for Energizer? They just kind of keep it to the right color theme and they get away with it. And on the back, that looks really good as well. What does that say? They're still going, of course. And then you have the Energizer battery itself, as well as a picture of the Energizer bunny there. This pop is amazing. It's something that I would have never really thought of, but it's a perfect ad icon, honestly. And the flocking is just beautiful with this pop. Coming in at number three on my list, number 106 in the Ad Icons lineup. And this is the Hot Topic exclusive scented slush puppy. To me, this is so nostalgic. I drank slush puppies a ton as a kid, especially the blue ones that would just turn your mouth completely blue. And this is wicked. I believe the scent on this is cherry, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't even remember what it smells like. I don't know if the scent would even still be there if I busted it out of the pot protector. But this is so cool. I believe there is a flocked version of this as well. But I decided to go with the scented one just to get that feel. The box looks great with this. You have the yellow with the paws as well as the blue. And then, of course, the number logo there also has the paw. And then when you get to the back of the box, this back of the box is amazing too. You have the different colors of like splashes of the slush puppy slurpees, or not slurpees, but slushies. Then you have that awesome nostalgic look of the slush puppy on one of the cups, which just looks so cool. And it's so nostalgic. It really makes me want to go get a slush puppy when I look at this pop because they're delicious and the pop itself, so great. What's the detail look like? Yeah, even the detail on the cup that he's holding even has all those details. So they really put some thought into this one to make it as best as it could be. And I think it paid off because this is coming in at number three for my ad icons. Then coming in at number two, the Snap, Crackle and Pop three pack from the Rice Krispies cereal. 
This is great. I mean, any three pack a lot of the times is a really cool thing to do if it's done right, if it's characters that make sense to be done in threes. And I'm glad that they went with a three pack for this rather than giving us three separate pops because these are littler guys, you know? So I think it makes sense to be in a three pack. I wouldn't necessarily want to have to buy each of these separately when they deserve to be in a three pack like this. And this is another example of, with the packaging at least, them just keeping it short and simple. There's the three heads there, which looks hilarious. And then, of course, on the back, this is what I'm talking about. Super simple, just Rice Krispies logo, the Kellogg's logo. You have each of the characters. It shows off each of their names, which is great. But the pops themselves are also really detailed and look really cool the way that they did them. The faces aren't quite like you see on a regular Funko Pop where it's kind of squared out. They do have like these chubby cheeks. So they did a really good job with the molding and I love how each of them kind of has something different going on. And now getting on to number one, my favorite ad icon in my collection currently, the Funko Shop exclusive limited to 3000. Yes, 3000 pieces. Tony the Tiger. Now there is a flocked version of this, which is a lot more. And if I had that, I feel like it would probably take its place because flocked's really cool. Flocked makes sense for Tony the Tiger, but I don't have that one. So it's blue for the most part, which looks great. Of course, that's how the box looks. And then on here, of course, you can't have Tony the Tiger without it saying they're great. You got the Frosted Flakes there, the Frosted Flakes logo. And again, that Kellogg's logo side of the box. And then back to the pop though, I mean, so awesome he's got the finger up for saying they're great and it just looks cool i mean he's got his scarf or ascot that says tony on it and i don't know just the colors on this he's just an awesome character design that i think would translate very well into pop form and of course it did and yeah, I mean, if I had the flocked one, it would probably be number one, but this is just an amazing pop and it's gotta be so far my favorite ad icon pop. That's all the time I have for this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what is your favorite ad icon Funko Pop. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, peace in, peace out.